Good evening and welcome to Conflan on this Tuesday evening. Let's have a moment of quiet as we begin, shall we? I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O God in spirit, and Jesus the three, from the crown of my head, Lord Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, Lord Jesus, my King. O Jesus, do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down with tonight with sin, nor shall sin nor sin's shadow lie down with me. O God of life this night, O darken not to me thy light. O God of life this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. O God of life this night, thy door to me, O shut not tight. O God of life this night. Tonight we're looking at studying the word with some verses from Ezra 7. On the first day of the month, Ezra fixed the day for the departure from Babylon. And on the first day of the fifth month, he reached Jerusalem, for the gracious hand of his God was upon him. For Ezra had committed himself to study the law of the Lord and to put it into practice and to teach its statutes and ordinances in Israel. Some words to ponder from Nick Fawcett, whose book we are using. Few people, if asked to list their top 10 characters of the Old Testament, would include Ezra in their choice. Despite having a book named after him, he fails to capture the imagination as characters like Moses, Samson, David and Isaiah do. Some have called him dull. Others have gone even further and accused him of being largely responsible for the narrow legalism which came to typify Judaism at the time of Jesus. Yet this is to overlook the very real contribution Ezra made to his nation at a formative time in its history and to undervalue the motivation that lay behind it. As a scribe and priest, his overriding concern was to nurture the faith of his people. And he did this in the way he knew best, by reading, learning, and acting upon God's word. He knew that if past mistakes were not able to be, let me read that again. He knew that if past mistakes were not to be made again, the people's relationship with God needed to be deepened. And one of the best ways of ensuring that this was through reflecting, and one of the best ways to ensure this was that you needed to reflect on scripture. There is much we can learn today from his example of single-minded devotion to the study of God's word if we too would grow in faith. Ask yourself, how often do you make time to study the word? How well do you know the Bible and what impact does it have on your life? Let's pray. 
Believe in God, you have your word in the scriptures, but all too often I fail to read them. I dip in casually as the mood takes me, selecting those passages that suit me best and ignoring any that might prove difficult or demanding. Even the little I read is rarely applied to my life in a way that really touches me. Despite the claims I make for it, the reality is that much of the Bible is a closed book to me. Forgive me and help me make time and space to study your word, to hear you speaking and to respond in faith. Amen. Be it on mine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesu, Son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesu, Son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesu, Son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. The peace of all peace be mine this night in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me and Teddy this evening. Please take care of yourselves and take care of those around you. Pray for yourself, pray for those around you and please keep on praying for this world. Good night and God bless you.